Recently I finished my short film about a huge stone giant. In this video I want to go through the entire process and techniques I used to create all of the effects. I also show the challenges I faced along the way. I'll also cover how I used Blender, Houdini, Nuke and After Effects during the process. So let's get into it. So it all started a few months ago with the idea that I wanted to create a giant creature made out of rocks. Eventually I came up with a whole story around it and made it into a 6 minute short film. Of course I had to go through many stages like storyboarding, looking for locations, as well as finding and creating a bunch of props, like the maps, sketches and rocks. The giant was supposed to be 8 meters high, so as you can imagine, that also heavily affected the framing of each shot. These were all things I had to keep in mind during the planning and filming. I also started figuring out the best way to go about making the giant. I knew I would have some shots that required simulations, such as the shot where a bunch of stones rise from the ground and assemble into the giant creature, a simulation of the giant being destroyed, and dust simulations guided by the movement of the stones. Those are also the reasons why I decided to make a setup for this in Houdini. First I ran a few initial tests with Mixamo animations to see if I can make this work. Of course it was nowhere near the look I wanted to have in the final short film, but the basic idea worked. Next I shot the entire short film and also got HDR images from the location which I later used to light my 3D scenes. Now the 3D giant was created procedurally. Basically I had a simple mesh which I modified to get the proportions I wanted for my stone giant. Then I scattered a bunch of points on that geometry and added different types of rocks onto those points with random scale and rotation. Then I played around a lot with the values to get something I like. Since this is all procedural, I can adjust all of these parameters at any time of the process. That was also very useful when I wanted to create more variations of the giant like in the final scene where there is a few of them walking towards the window. Let's move on to animation. All of the animations in this short film were actually recorded in a motion capture suit and then slowed down to emphasize the weight of the giant. Alternatively, you could use video-based motion capture. I know that Rococo has some great tools for that and Move AI as well. Or you can even try combining some XMO animations. Once I had the mocap animations, I retargeted them onto the giant and he's alive now. At this point I exported the animation from Houdini and brought it into Blender where I set up the whole scene, did the lighting and the rendering. Since most of the shots had camera movement I first needed to 3D track the camera. You can do this in Blender as well, I have some tutorials on the channel if you're interested. But I ended up using Synthize for the tracking since I find it faster and more reliable. Once that was done I imported the tracked camera into Blender and used my HDR image as well as some additional lights to light the whole scene. 
Everything was rendered in cycles and of course as a multilayer EXR so that I can have more flexibility in compositing. Before we continue I would like to quickly mention Envato Elements. Envato Elements is a tool every filmmaker will appreciate. You can find there thousands of creative assets and templates for any kind of project you're working on. They offer great stock footage, including green screen clips like fog, fire, lightning and literally anything you'll need. Apart from that this library also includes awesome After Effects and Premiere Pro templates, VFX assets, intros, transitions, motion graphics, as well as sound effects and music. It allows you to download unlimited amount of all these assets just for a single price and you can cancel it anytime. Envato Elements is a huge time saver and helps you create videos faster. Make sure to check it out, there is a link in the description down below. Now there were also shots with simulations like the rocks rising from the ground and forming the giant and then the shot where the giant gets destroyed. These were done in Houdini using Vellum and RBD Bullet Solver and I also did pyro simulations for the dust. I exported the dust as a VDB and brought it into Blender where the whole scene was rendered. Moving on to compositing. Most of the shots were composited in Nuke, which is node based just like Fusion in DaVinci Resolve, but you can also do the same in After Effects, I just found the node based system more suitable in this case. To get the grass in front of the giant I used these simple masks which are just planes in the 3D space that I used as alpha mats for the background shot. The levitating sphere was actually very simple to create. I did this in After Effects. On set I shot the rock without the sphere, then brought the sphere into frame so that I can capture it with the right lighting and I also had it rest on the rock for reference. In After Effects I made a freeze frame of the sphere and masked it out. Then I tracked the shot in Mocha and applied that movement onto the sphere. Next I added the levitating animation and recreated the shadows when the sphere lands on the rock. Then I topped it off with little details like a bit of glow and displacement behind the sphere. And that's pretty much all that went into creating this short film. I can't really go that deep into each step in this video cause it will be way too long but let me know in the comments if you want a dedicated tutorial for a specific part of the process where I could explain it in more detail. I hope you found this useful and if you did please like and consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.